Hi guys, um, so today I thought I would do a collective jewellery haul. I've just got a box here which is full of different necklaces, um, hair clips and also sort of earrings. Um, so I just thought I'd go through some of my favourite pieces. So I'm going to begin with the brand Restyle. I've got quite a few bits from them so I thought I'd just do them all in one go so that you know that they're all from the same company. So I'm going to begin the restart items with this hair clip. It is of a steampunk moth. Um, on its wings it has a really intricate um, design of cogs um, and also screws. I just really love this piece. I think it's so interesting. Now when I bought it I was slightly concerned about the outside of it. As you can see it does have these rough cog edges to it. I thought that my hair may get caught in that, but they are actually smoothed off. Although you can see the detail, this is just a slight groove, um, but the rest is smooth so your hair does not get caught in them. The only issue which I do have with this is it is very heavy. It's fully made of metal um, and it does mean it does pull your hair down. So you can't attach it to anywhere where there's not much hair. So I would recommend if you do have really thin hair or your hair isn't very strong, you should possibly give these items a miss. Um, what I have learned is that you can actually put a hair bubble or a hairband in your hair which will create sort of an anchor for it to rest upon and it will take some of the strain off of your actual hair roots. Other than that, um, it is a really nice curved shape so it does go really well with the outside of your hair. Um, I will insert a picture of how big it is when it's on compared to my head as although this does look quite small and in the pictures you can't really tell how big it is, when it is on it does take up the majority of the back of your head. So the next piece I'm going to show you from Restyle is this brooch slash pendant. So it has this little gap here so you can put a chain through it and wear it around your neck or it can just be pinned onto your outfit. Um, this item is again in a quite a heavy metal so that is something to consider because the actual um, pin itself isn't too sturdy as you can probably see it does move around a bit. That is one thing to consider if you are applying to wear this for long periods of time. The actual design is really intricate, it has this sort of Victorian like background to it with these two bat wings and a raven skull. All the parts of this brooch are all securely welded together so there's no chance of it coming apart. One negative of this brand is that the silver plating of it does sort of begin to rub off after quite a lot of wear as you can tell from the top of the head and the wings they are starting to go bronzy colour. Now it does say when you buy them do not get them wet. Um, unfortunately I have worn this one in situations where it's been raining um, or it's been quite a humid climate so I don't know if that is what has affected this item. So this next item is also from Restyle, it is a necklace with an adjustable um, chain so you can make it shorter or longer. This piece actually sort of reminded me of a bat, just the shape of the um, main base of it, although when you look closely it is actually a spider web. So the design of this has three large plastic um, circular sort of gems and then it also has these hanging teardrop ones. The actual circular ones are surrounded by what I can only describe as a cameo frame. I haven't had any problem with these, the only thing is that sometimes as you can tell here they do get caught up when you are wearing it. Um, however they haven't fallen off and I haven't need to reattach anything to this one. So this item I normally wear about here on the chest. The only thing I don't like about it is because it is so solid and rigid it doesn't really move with your body so it does sort it doesn't um, go flat against your skin. However because it is a flat against your skin you do get this nice hanging effect with these dangly gems. So another element which I did not realise when I bought this piece is that the chain doubles up at the top. Which Here is my final piece which I got from the brand Restyle. Again it's another necklace and it is in this steampunk sort of style. It does have cogs and um, different uh, intricate details on it. Um, this necklace is actually in a bronze colour which I didn't realise when I got it. I did think it would be in the same silvery tone as the other one. Um, it does mean I haven't worn this necklace just as much because it doesn't match with my the rest of my jewellery as I do tend to just wear silver. However, I do really like the detail within this piece. 
Um, it does have, again, another sort of cameo piece in the middle and this very intricate frame around it. It also has these hanging aspects. And again, it does have the double chain to ensure that it does stay attached. Here is what the necklace looks like on. I normally have it on the smallest setting just because I find the longest one is at a very awkward length. One thing I am noticing is that this um, side definitely is starting to turn where it does have this double chain. Now I think this could possibly be fixed by poss just taking out a link of this chain and making it slightly smaller. However I do think it just adds to sort of the shape and the three dimensional aspect which is within these restyle necklaces. So that is all of the restyle pieces which I have to show you. Um, the quality of all of these are great um, and for the price that you're paying it's definitely worth it. Um, I would say that these are possibly not an everyday wearing necklace as, as I showed you. Some of the colouring has um, distorted slightly. I definitely think if you're into bigger intricate jewellery or even just the steampunk style you should check out the website because they do have some good unique jewellery on there. This necklace um, is actually one of my favourites. It's a very large, I think it's 5 inch bat. Um, it's made of metal and it is fully black but you can buy silver and bronze ones. I just bought this from eBay. I can't remember the exact shop which I bought this from but it is a very universal piece and I know that a lot of sellers do stock it. So an element which I do really like is the dripping which is coming off of the bottom of the wings. I just think this gives it a really nice shape when the actual necklace is on. The chain itself was double the length, however it did come down to just under the bust which I thought was slightly too long so I removed the chain from one side and then just um, used the clip to clip it onto where the chain had originated from. Um, I have had to change the clip because as the metal has been sort of painted black the paint did cause the clip to be quite hard to use and eventually it did unfortunately break. I did just easily find another clip off some old jewellery and just reattach it so this wasn't really a problem. So I do think the back of this necklace is slightly strange. It does have these risen bumps on the back. And they don't seem to be in any specific pattern or order. And um, I do think this is just possibly how it was moulded. Um, it doesn't create a weird um, or uncomfortable effect when it is actually on. But it is just something to consider. So as you can see the necklace is positioned quite high and this is purely just because I took off half the chain. Um, I decided to do this just because of the colour of the necklace because when you are just wearing full black, because this is also black, it just does seem to blend in. I don't think it gives all the effect of the dripping which is the bit which I do really like. The majority of my clothes, the necklines come up um, quite high but with this they still um, it still shows off the bat and you can still see it in contrast with my skin. The only thing which I dislike about this necklace um, is actually how they've coloured it. So I think originally these necklaces are made in silver and then they are given a black coating and I don't know if you can tell but the bits that raise up such as the mouth and the nose of the bat has began to chip off. It does also mean that when you do do your touch-up jobs like I have with this, the silver does stand out so I am considering painting that with nail varnish or just trying to find some similar black jewellery which I can take the clip off. So now I'm going to move on to earrings. Um, so the first one you probably would have seen if you spend any time on eBay at all because it is very common. Um, it is of a skeleton um, and it does have a noose around its neck. So I have had a couple of problems with this earring. The first um, pair I got were actually broken as it is not made of metal, it's just made of a plastic. Um, so I'm just going to show you what I received. So this is what the first pair of earrings look like I received. Um, as you can see they are missing their legs. These just got snapped off in the post. This is purely just because the supplier didn't put them in a padded envelope or in anything protective. They were just loose and it, made, it meant it snapped. The supplier did apologise very sincerely for this and she did send me another pair for free so that was fine. The next pair were properly wrapped and everything so I had no problems with that. They do have this nice little detail of a black bead in the middle which I think just breaks up the actual silvery colour a bit. So I do really like these earrings. They're really lightweight and they don't seem to aggravate my ears at all. So the next ear I'm going to show you is homemade. As you can see, it is just a little toadstool and it's made out of a modelling clay. Again, um, using this kind of clay, which you can get off eBay or from any craft store, 
it is very lightweight and it's quite easy to work with and once you've modelled it you just put it in the oven to make it hard. Um, I am planning to get my sister to make me some more of these so that I can sell them on my Etsy site. So I do find Halloween is a great time to get earrings and these are actually listed as Halloween earrings on eBay. Um, although these are meant for just dressing up I do really like them and they are these little spiders. I just thought these were so funny because to me it looks like the spider's actually like screaming or like singing. Um, again it is made out of this sort of fake uh, metal-y material however these ones were correctly wrapped and they didn't uh, snap or anything I had no problems with them and again because these aren't actually fully metal they aren't heavy at all um, so they don't aggravate my ears. So this pair I got, um, there are these little golden cameos. I got them from an antique shop which is close to where I live. Um, they cost me £3, they were pretty cheap. Um, and I just wanted to highlight the fact that you can find some really nice sort of alternate gothically inclined earrings in thrift stores and antique shops. Um, I do realise that this, these earrings are actually gold which kind of goes against my main colour theme. But I do have a gold cameo necklace so I thought that these would go really nicely with them. So the next earrings which I have got um, are slightly bigger than the rest and they were the most expensive. Um, they are from the Etsy site Horribel who um, specialise in sort of gothic lean kind jewellery. And although they are quite big they are not too heavy to wear um, in your ears. I had no problem with receiving these and um, the actual shop owner is um, very good at keeping a good communication with the customer. Um, you can actually choose between how you want the top of your earring to be, so you can have it like this, so it, this bit just folds down, you put it through and it just clips back up again at the back. Or you can choose to have the regular fish hook style. So I bought this style of earring because I did like the detail. Now I do find, because I do have stretched ears and I wear them on the outside of my tunnel, many of my earrings do seem to fall out, so I thought this clasp would be a lot better idea. Now the only complaint which I have is that because this clasp is so thin and it is meant for regular ear piercing, after a while it did start to cut into my lobe which is quite worrying when you do have um, stretched ears. I think um, the main reason why they probably cause this um, aggravation to my earlobe is because they are that bit bigger and it means that the wind catches them easily and pulls them around. So fortunately I have other piercings in my ear. I don't take them out but I do have this circular ring which I do just thread the um, actual hook through and put it from there. And when your hair's down and you can't really even tell, you just see the main dangling bat wing. So moving on to another hair clip, I have reviewed this before so I'm not going to go into much detail about it but it is from Etsy and it is just this really simple black hair clip. So I, uh, I do really love taxidermy um, and although I haven't tried any out myself I am planning to in the future. So this piece is a little bug, um, it has beautiful colours within it, I don't know how well the, captures, the camera is going to capture those. Um, it's set in a resin and the back of it is actually glow in the dark so when you wear it it does create this really nice effect when it's dark. Now I believe this was just bought off eBay for a couple of pounds. It was a gift and it did come with a bracelet which matched the design so they went really well together. So this piece is quite long. It comes down in line with sort of the lower part of your chest. It hangs really well. The only slight complaint I'd made about it is actually the string. As you can tell in comparison to the other strings of my jewellery, it is very thin and I spend a lot of time worrying when I'm wearing it that it's going to snap. Um, I have bought other string to thread this onto, however the actual hole that the string goes through is very small. So I'm possibly going to need to drill that and make it slightly bigger or get some metal and make a metal loop just to attach it to. Now I don't tend to wear very many chokers other than the one which I wear daily um, but this one's just possibly for going out. I haven't actually worn this out yet, um, it was given to me as a gift this Christmas. Um, it is just a velvet choker with this cross on it. Um, it's very glitzy, um, slightly more sparkly than I would wear on a daily basis but I do think this is just a really nice design. So along the lines of taxidermy, I do also have this grouse claw. Um, I got it from an old antique shop. This cost me, I think it was about £12. So it was slightly expensive for a brooch, but I just really like the uniqueness of it about it. 
So on the top of it, it does have this silver thistle design. I did do some research into this, um, as I was quite interested as to the significance of why you would have this as a brooch. Um, it is a Scottish tradition that you gave this to your loved ones to keep them safe and happy and to show them your love. Um, they do typically have a heart with an arrow on them, but my one does not. So I think this is quite a unique piece. I am quite worried when I wear it that I'm going to break it, so a lot of the time I do just have it in, on display in my room. One element which I do really like about this is the clip. Now it, um, it's not just like a normal brooch, you do have a safety lock on it, which ensures that it doesn't just fall off when you're wearing it, which I have found with other brooches such as the one I showed you earlier, which is from Restyle. So the next two items I'm going to show you are homemade, they're really simple. Um, so this one's just an old key that my dad found in the garden. We have no idea what it opens, or whose it was, or where it came from. Um, but it was just dug up, it has this really nice intricate design on it. We just cleaned it up, put a string on it, and I just wear it as a long necklace when I just want to make an outfit slightly more interesting. So the last item I'm going to show you is quite unique. Um, I know that you can buy similar sort of things from sort of Etsy stores and eBay stores. I made this one um, at home. So I bought about 100 acrylic teeth. Um, they were just left over from dental practices. I then went and got them drilled and threaded them onto a necklace. I put pearls in between them so they could be pearly whites. And I did actually use them for a nightmare themed photo shoot which I was doing. But I do think this is just something really fun to wear and it's not really obvious what it is straight away so you do kind of get some double looks. Um, I think it's just something really fun, a good talking point and I just think it is quite unique compared to some of the other things that I have shown you. So thank you very much for watching my collective jewellery haul. Um, I do have quite a few other pieces which I can show you in the future but I thought I'd just give you a small insight to some of the things that I have collected. I am going to upload a video alongside this one which is going to be my everyday jewellery so I will link that below in the description in case you want to check out some of those pieces. Please feel free to comment or ask any questions down below. In the description I will put links to any of the brands which I have mentioned but the majority of the stuff I did just buy off eBay so just any sort of search of keywords I will recommend a few down below also um, should leave you to the similar items. So thank you again for watching and I will see you soon. Bye! A quite a heavy metal so that is something to consider because the actual um, pin itself isn't too sturdy as you can probably see it does move around a bit that is one thing to consider if you are planning to wear this for long periods of time the actual design is really intricate it has this sort of Victorian like background to it with these two bat wings and a raven skull all the parts of this brooch are all securely welded together so there's no chance of it coming apart one negative of this brand is that the silver plating of it does sort of begin to rub off after quite a lot of wear. As you can tell from the top of the head and the wings, they are starting to go bronzy colour. Now it does say when you buy them, do not get them wet. Um, unfortunately I have worn this one in situations where it's been raining um, or it's been quite a humid climate. So I don't know if that is what has affected this item. So this next item is also from Restyle, it, I did not realise when I bought this piece is that the chain doubles up at the top. Here is my final piece which I got from the brand Restyle, again it's another necklace and it is in this steampunk sort of style. It does have cogs and um, different uh, intricate details on it. Um, this necklace is actually in a bronze colour which I didn't realise when I got it. I did think it would be in the same silvery tone as the other one. Um, it does mean I haven't worn this necklace just as much because it doesn't match with my the rest of my jewellery as I do tend to just wear silver. However, I do really like the detail within this piece. Um, it does have again another sort of cameo piece in the middle and this very intricate frame around it. It also has these hanging aspects. And again, it does have the double chain to ensure that it does stay attached. Here is what the necklace looks like on. I normally have it on the smallest setting, just because I find the longest one is at a very awkward length. One thing I am noticing is that this... Um Hi guys, um, so today I thought I would do a 
collective jewellery haul. I've just got a box here which is full of different necklaces, um, hair clips and also sort of earrings. Um, so I just thought I'd go through some of my favourite pieces. So I'm going to begin with the brand Restyle. I've got quite a few bits from them so I thought I'd just do them all in one go so that you know that they're all from the same company. So I'm going to begin the restart items with this hair clip. It is of a steampunk moth. Um, on its wings it has a really intricate um, design of cogs um, and also screws. I just really love this piece. I think it's so interesting. Now when I bought it I was slightly concerned about the outside of it. As you can see it does have these rough cog edges to it. I thought that my hair may get caught in that, but they are actually smoothed off. Although you can see the detail, this is just a slight groove, um, but the rest is smooth so your hair does not get caught in them. The only issue which I do have with this is it is very heavy. It's fully made of metal um, and it does mean it does pull your hair down. So you can't attach it to anywhere where there's not much hair. So I would recommend if you do have really thin hair or your hair isn't very strong, you should possibly give these items a miss. Um, what I have learned is that you can actually put a hair bubble or a hairband in your hair which will create sort of an anchor for it to rest upon and it will take some of the strain off of your actual hair roots. Other than that, um, it is a really nice curved shape so it does go really well with the outside of your hair. Um, I will insert a picture of how big it is when it's on compared to my head as although this does look quite small and in the pictures you can't really tell how big it is, when it is on it does take up the majority of the back of your head. So the next piece I'm going to show you from Restyle is this brooch slash pendant. So it has this little gap here so you can put a chain through it and wear it around your neck or it can just be pinned onto your outfit. Um, this item is again in that it's a necklace with an adjustable um, chain so you can make it shorter or longer. This piece actually sort of reminded me of a bat, just the shape of the um, main base of it, although when you look closely it is actually a spider web. So the design of this has three large plastic um, circular sort of gems and then it also has these hanging teardrop ones. The actual circular ones are surrounded by what I can only describe as a cameo frame. I haven't had any problem with these, the only thing is that sometimes as you can tell here they do get caught up when you are wearing it. Um, however they haven't fallen off and I haven't need to reattach anything to this one. So this item I normally wear about here on the chest. The only thing I don't like about it is because it is so solid and rigid it doesn't really move with your body so it does sort it doesn't um, go flat against your skin however because it is a flat against your skin you do get this nice hanging effect with these dangly gems so another element which 